Very often in life, things don't happen the way we planned. Many of us have great plans for ourselves, for our family, for our work, for our career. But sometimes, in spite of all that we do, things never worked out. And so it is natural that when things do not work out the way we want, we desire, we become resentful, begin to think that God is not fair, especially if we think that we have been good servants of God, we have been faithful to Him, and then God is so unfair to us. He seems to be more generous to those who are wicked, those who are evil. So in such situation, again, we ask ourselves, where is the Lord? But at the same time, it is good for us to try to understand also the imperfection on our side. Sometimes we want to blame God, but sometimes we are also partly responsible. But what is important is that in spite of the imperfections of men, or sometimes it could be due to our own sins and not the sins of others, what is most important is that God is in control. God is in charge. God will use whatever strength, whatever weakness we have for our good and to fulfill His divine plan. That we will not be able to thwart the plan of God. No matter how great our sin is, God is in charge. It is interesting to know that in spite of our imperfection, our sinfulness, God still works in and through us. You don't have to be a saint to be a priest, you know. So sometimes people say, oh, yeah, I'm not a saint, how can I be a priest? Precisely, you are not a saint, that's why you can be a priest. If you are a saint, you no need to be a priest. <laughs> so we become the Christian Catholics in order to grow in our faith. And God is patient. God will use the opportunities to transform us. So can you remember the wonders the Lord has done for you? Now you go back and you think, all those years in your life. If you go back to your life, then you will also recognize how the hand of God has always been working in your mistakes, in your talents. Good or bad, the Lord has made use of this to help you to become what you are today. And we are always growing in perfection. So the hand of God is somehow working in our lives. We need to have faith. And this is where it's important. It is where the gospel is telling us, have faith. Have faith in Christ's victory because He conquered death. He overcame His enemies. And so we need to have faith. Faith that somehow God is guiding us even through our difficult times, through good times as well. He is there. He is there. So we should not be afraid. However, we should try to cooperate as much as we can. We need to ask ourselves, are we also cooperating with God with whatever graces we have received, whatever talents that we have, we need to use them to deepen our relationship with Him and to use it for the service of others. So that is also a question of cooperation. So while we trust God, that even when we make mistakes, He will put things right, but you could also save yourself from too much the suffering if only uh, you are more alert and pay attention to what we are doing, how the grace of God is, has been given to you, and how you have exercised them responsibly. And then you can save yourself from more suffering. Some of the sufferings actually are permitted by God, but some of the sufferings are caused by our own foolishness. Uh, cannot blame God for that. We are the ones uh, who cause ourselves to suffer. And so we praise and we thank God uh, for this grace given to us. And we know that uh, He will certainly, as we surrender our lives to Him, uh, He will bring all our works and even our mistakes uh, for the greater good of ourselves.